Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn IT. Today we will be having another session for our use case scenario for requirement fulfillment which we use in our day to day development activities. So if you are new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe to my channel Learn IT. Please watch my videos till the end for complete information. So now let us see what is our use case related to. So our use case is like we will uh, close our RITM whenever any task is closed under those RITMs. So let us see what is our actual requirement. So actual requirement is like we have to close the RITM record whenever all child tasks are closed. Alright, so let us move to our personal developer instance and see how we can implement this use case. As you can see, we are moved to our personal developer instance and now let's start and uh, try to build our use case scenario. So first of all, I will write a business rule. I have clicked on new button now let me try to add like set RITM to closed when tasks are closed so let me select here catalog task all right so let me add some conditions here State is one of closed complete closed in complete closed skipped. Now we will move to our advanced condition and we will do it glide record to SC task. Now here I will check how many catalog or tasks are generated inside this uh, request item. and now I will fetch the play record count so where total count equal to ct dot get get to count with the Alright, then we will get the count here and next we will write an another client record for SC task. I will check the state state is one of three four comma seven. So these are the backend values for closed uh, complete, closed, incomplete, and closed skipped. 
so we are we are checking the count of those uh, sc tasks which are already completed and now again here we will get the completed total count equal to set one dot get row count all right now what i will do is like i will check whether both count are similar or not so let me check the count all right now if we are comparing this if both are matching then do is like I will get RITM RITM record using current dot request item dot get current dot request item dot get reference record Now this is our code for and now our code is ready and now let us test some of the catalog items. So let me try to save this business rule. now let's move to our catalog item and try to raise one of them let me click on software one access order now and now let us check our RITM how many tasks are generated so we have only one task generated here so now let us try to close this task and see what happens So I have closed this uh, SC task and now we will check what happened with this RITM. So stage is awaiting delivery and state is open. Why is that? Because our new task is generated. So let me open another task of same RITM and let me try to close this and save. And now let us see another task is generated or not so we can see one more task is generated so let me try to close this task as well so now this task is also closed and now let us check if any more tasks yeah so we have one more task which is generated let me try to close this task as well and you can see as soon as this task is closed so this was the last task then only our RITM has closed right so this way we can close our RITM when multiple tasks are closed for particular requested item 
so let us go through our script once more and see what we have done so on this section what we have done is like we have we are getting a count so how many number of sc tasks are generated under this ritm so this this will return a 4 count as 4 because total number of task is 4 and now what I am doing here is like I am counting the task which are closed skipped or closed complete or uh, yeah another one so that count we are fetching here so as soon as we get both the count as same like uh, 4 equal to 4 so 4 means like 4 task is total and 4 task we have closed task so as soon as both are matched then RITM will be set as closed complete. So this is a very simple script and you can utilize it in your projects. So it helps in many ways. So that's all about this use case scenario. Please provide your comment if you have any questions, doubts or queries related to this session. For more information please visit the description section under this video. Thanks for hearing me out. Stay tuned for more videos. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel LearnIT.